Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., one of the most highly anticipated dramas this fall, was finally able to grace our vision balls last week. And boy, did it ever. It was actually one of the highest rated drama debuts in nearly four years. So pretty much within the first 10 to 15 minutes of the pilot, you already get a Firefly slash Buffy slash Avengers vibe. Yup, it's Whedon's. It sounds like a commercial, like, thanks, by owner. And I just give away my age. But this precious Avengers spin-off also happens to belong to Jed Whedon, Joss Whedon's brother, and Jed's wife Marissa. Now, I could say her last name, I could try, I'll probably debaucher it. Here we go. Tancharoian. Tancharoian? Fuck me. Now, this is the same awesome trio behind the three-part Emmy Award-winning web musical, Dr. Horrible's sing-along blog, and Fox's two-season drama, Dollhouse. All right, so I have to let out of my system because I've been holding it in this whole time. Coulson lives! So I'm sure most of us were expecting this, like, epic explanation behind the resurrection. But in this particular episode, Whedon sort of leaves us in the dark, wanting more! See, in the pilot, Coulson explains that he stopped breathing for about 40 seconds after Loki... Loki... stabbed him through the chest in the Avengers. And uh, then he recovered somewhere in Tahiti. Too simple, right? Exactly! Because shortly after, Agent Maria Hill indicates that there's a lot more to the story, when medical agent turns to Hill and asks, he doesn't really know, does he? To which Hill responds, he can never know. Dum, dum, dum! So now there are, as I freaking grab my boobs on the way up, so now... So now, there are a bunch of theories circulating the interwebs as to what really happened to Agent Coulson. Was he ever even alive to begin with? Eh? You know, he could be some weird half-human, half-thingamabob hybrid. Maybe he has two hearts? I'm crossing the streams here in, in the television world. But it's okay, because that can be fun. Aside from Coulson's resurrection, a lot of discussion revolved around the character Michael Peterson and his identity. Now, prior to the premiere of the pilot, a lot of folks speculated that he could perhaps be Marvel character Luke Cage, and a lot of people were super excited about it, but unfortunately, at least in my opinion, and from a lot of articles that I've read, that is not the case. He could very well be a new character, and I'll explain why very soon. So apparently Mike, played by J. August Richards, gets his uh, superpowers from the centipede. Now. The centipede, while giving you all these amazing superpowers and all that crazy jizz. I'm not sure if it really gives you crazy jizz, though I don't doubt it. It also has a tendency to cause extreme out-of-control rage due to the extremists found within it. And for those of you who saw Iron Man 3 and obviously read the comics, you know what extremis is all about. An extremis is no bueno. No bueno extremo. Now, some still think that there is still more to this Mike character than meets the eye. Is he, in fact, taken from the comics, or is he maybe a completely new character for the series? While directing Much Ado About Nothing, Joss Whedon stated in an interview, It's new characters. It needs to be its own thing. It needs to be adjacent to the MCU, but you don't want to do a show where you're constantly going, Iron Man just left, but he was totally here a minute ago. You want them to do their own thing. On a side note, I couldn't help but get a Will Smith, Jaden Smith, in the pursuit of happiness kind of vibe with Mike's father-son dynamic. Totally fucking random, but I thought I should just, you know, throw that in there. If you're a fan of Whedon's television work, then you will most definitely find his humor sprinkled throughout, as well as making larger-than-life situations and characters fit into a realistic world. And of course, you can't forget the badass strong female characters. Ming-Na Wen as Agent Melinda May and Chloe Bennett as Skye were true standouts. And I secretly want Sky's role. Let Marvel know, okay? Thanks. I would like to say that the show has a very promising start, and we must all keep in mind that while we've got the huge Marvel blockbusters kicking ass and taking names in all their glitz and glory, that S.H.I.E.L.D. was meant for the small screen, and I think they did a pretty good job at miniaturizing the glitz. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys and say that I was blown away, like, holy shit! But um, I do have faith in the series, and I cannot wait to find all the little Marvel Easter eggs scattered about. Easter egg. And I'll add one more thing. What I absolutely love about this premise is that it revolves around ordinary agents. And I say ordinary because, well, these are people that are sans superpowers. And they have to deal with situations and people that are, well... Not so ordinary. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about following this series, and uh, if you guys want to comment below on what you thought of the pilot, do you have faith in it, were you meh, 
Or were you just like jacking off left and right from how amazing it was? Just tell me what you thought and stuff. And tell people to subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, that's it. And until next time, stay geeky, my friends. One of the most highly anticipated, one of the most, well, I said that really fast. One of the most. I'm totally wearing PJ pants. Will shooting geek today. Ta-da!